what you're good at is to yourself, you can automatically give it to someone. So technically this really could have just been do yourself folks. <laughs> Does that help Alex? Focus on yourself, pleasure yourself. Like there's a difference between pleasuring yourself because it, you're supposed to do it and then you actually feeling good. There's a, there's a crossroads where sometimes that is gonna cause us to cry. Like for me, when I started masturbating, pleasuring myself, I was 37 years old when I started. And there was a lot of, I was raised Catholic. You're not supposed to touch yourself. Why would you do that? You only are touched by your husband. Those are the beliefs that I had. And so the very first part of my masturbation was, oh my God, is this a sin? So I was in my head the very first moments, you know, I remember. And then eventually when I did orgasm by myself, I was like, why haven't I ever done this before? You know, I, I missed 37 years of my life. There was all this conversation of, I can't believe I judged myself. I started crying because I was like, how could this be bad? Why is this bad? And then I just, I was in my head and then I went back down there and it was like this uh, unleashing of another aspect of living where what's wrong with masturbation, you know? It's like, I can't believe how much of the world judges that. So I've been on this journey of really, really genuinely making the time to commune with my body, with myself. And this is what I've been called to be because I used to be very love addict, love addiction, man addiction. Somebody has to love me. I don't get it from myself. I get it from others in the past. And so that's my journey has been about really, really feeling enough, feeling worthy of valuable and I'm enough. And so I used to be a doormat. So this is why I am such an advocate for Tantra fits the closest to what I feel love is. And so imagine you being this goddess that you're just so aroused by being yourself because you know your body so well that when someone meets you and they're making love with you, you're bringing them all this joy, all this past relating with yourself, as opposed to you're a vampire and you need him to make you satisfied. That's depleting. And that's what most of the world is. It's like, oh my God, make me come, you know, make me come. And it's like, the poor guy is like, man, this is a lot of work. <laughs> so when men get a lingo massage, they're like, Oh my God, like this exists, you know, it's so funny. And so are we vampire lovers or are we these, you know, like, ow, I am so hot and delicious that the man just approaches us and they're like, whoa, it's like static cling, you know, it's like, wow, you know, it's a whole different way. Um, yeah. So if anyone wants a one-on-one -on -one session, you know, let me know, because we can do that too. And I think you can feel the difference. You know, a lot of people after they make love, have sex, they feel depleted. With Tantra, you feel expanded and you feel as though you're touching God. I mean, this is how I feel whenever I'm in, in sexual relating. Um, it's this like, hallelujah. And, and I don't mean religious. I mean like, whoa, I am the whole universe. And uh, yeah, you can tell how excited I am about it, right? <laughs> So this is what's possible. I used to have chronic pelvic pain and I used to think sex was painful. And today I believe that it is an opportunity to touch the magic of the universe through your body awakened. 